Welcome back to Nikki's Topics. It's your girl Nikki once again. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Calm down, calm down. Had to wait for the applause. Yeah, we're back. We're back in the studio. Now I know you're used to the out of the studio, but we're back in here. We're back in here. Yeah. Hey, who's who's laughing? You, you know who that is, right? It's the, it's the studio audience. It's the studio audience. We are back once again. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification because we have all different types of topics right here. Yes, we do. Yeah, I'm awesome. Yeah, they, they're new to this. They're new to this. Um, so, Welcome back to my channel, guys. Thank you so much. I know you have choices, so thank you so much for checking me out. So today's topic is, and calm down, I know people are gonna, they might come for me for this one, but you know, I gotta I gotta keep it real. I gotta keep it real. They're gonna say, oh, what are you, what are you talking about? You, what, who are you to be answering this question? Calm down, hey. These guys are back. And security is in the bathroom, I think. Are they in the bathroom? I don't know. We'll, we'll check on them. We'll check. Hey, calm down. Oh, they, they're crazy. All right, guys. Today's topic is how important is physical attraction? Now, some people will say that, hey, no, 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 that's not shots fired. Okay, well, maybe it is that. Okay, okay, okay. It's shots fired. Yeah, it is. It's shots fired. Okay. Uh, how important is physical attraction? Now, uh, there's two ways that you can kind of look at this. Now, if you're talking about initial attraction, um, as I mentioned in previous videos, men are visual creatures. So just to be honest, and I know you're not going to want to hear this, but hey, Ladies, I'm one of you. I'm one of you. Okay, I, I know. I know. I know. Men are visual creatures, so their first, their first kind of um, introduction to you is uh, what you look like. I'm sorry, guys. That's the first thing they notice. Um, now, you could look. What I mean by this is, you don't have to be a certain body size or whatever, because. Who am I to say what attracts someone? You know, some maybe your hair uh, attracts someone, or maybe your your personality might catch them, or you know, catch their attention. Or, this goes for men and women. This is not only just for the ladies. This video, hey, hey, this, hey, you, this security, where's I don't know. We're back in the studio. I think they're still outside the studio. It goes for men and women. Now, there's. What I mean to say, guys, is there's different levels of attractiveness, and there's different things that make people attracted to a person. And um, and I gotta tell you, I'm not a supermodel. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, I try to do what I can, though. Uh, I try to do what I can. Hold on, hold on now. Yeah, I try to do what I can. Uh, and I'm in a relationship, so if there's something about me that he likes, you know, I'm in a guy's. You know who you are, but um, there's different things that attract people to different people. But I gotta tell you, the majority of men like attractive women. All right, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I hey, 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 wait a minute. But you can't say that because even though that's obviously true and everybody knows that, you can't say that because that's not politically correct and and and, and you can't be saying that and, and blah blah blah. Is that someone in the audience again? I don't know. Hey, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Let me finish. Hear me out. Like I was saying, guys, there's different things that attract people to uh, people for different reasons, even for females. And saying that, you know, uh, blatantly that, hey, guys are attracted to uh, women that are attractive. 
to them. Maybe it's long hair, or maybe it's their fit, or maybe it's uh, even their personality. Like I said, but and I also want to say there's not a specific uh, weight or size requirement for someone liking you. They could just like you for a combination of reasons. Uh, maybe they respect you. Maybe you they've been around you a long time and they've fallen for you. Whatever it is, there's 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 no there's no cut and dry, but. The thing I can say across the board, you know, statistically, or what I do, I do research. Calm down. <laughs> These are all not just my opinions. They're mostly my, yeah, it's my opinions, but there's also some research involved. So calm down. Um, there's there's different ways that people will be attracted to you, but across the board, um, statistics say that if you're attractive, meaning your height, weight, proportionate, or your you know your hair or nails are done or you know if you're keeping yourself up you look groomed you look uh you smell good you and you look like this every day somebody's gonna be attracted to that i mean man or woman but also so across the board uh if, if women are have long hair that are fit and, and you know looking good and they'll walk past a guy's gonna notice that because they're visual creatures or you have a nice shape or something like that. they're gonna notice that you know especially if they're on the hunt for something and we know what that something is don't we do you know yeah I think I think they know Did, maybe they know I don't know security do you know calm down uh, but also with men I, I know that's a general statement but also with uh, with women, men, I mean, uh, for women, usually statistically, women like men that are confident, that are manly, and also maybe financially stable, meaning that you have, you, you know where you're going or they know where you're going. That Now, that's not always across the board because sometimes you can build something with someone, and which I'm totally for actually I've done it um, numerous times and I feel that it actually works out over the long run if you build something together but that's just my opinion the sand but some people are gonna be like well Nikki why are you telling people that you should only say to go for guys with all this money and then they can lift me up yeah no that's not always the case but if you listen to a lot of the songs nowadays, they're just like, you gotta go with the guys with money. They have to have money or don't even talk to me or only go with guys and use them for money. Uh, that's what a lot of the music is telling you. But I'm here from experience being in a long-term relationship, being in a relationship now, and just being a woman for a long time. I realized that, yeah, you can meet someone with money and, they, and you know, that's that's fine and flashy, but he can also replace you with the next one. Because he knows that if he runs into a hard time or, or things doesn't work out financially from him, you might leave him. And where is that going to leave you? Hmm? Where's, where's that going to leave? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Hey, with... I tried to tell them. I try. I try. I tried. Listen, calm down. So, but that's just my personal experience. That doesn't mean that's always the case. Because sometimes you can just get somebody with no, you know, somebody with no money, and then someone with all this money, and then it works out for the long run. But then, what if hard times hit? Do you see that person only as a valuable asset, or do you see that person as someone? As a human, as a person, as someone you're actually in love with, that you love, you love them as a person. It doesn't matter what their money looks like. I personally prefer that way, but a lot of women and some friends I know prefer guys with all the, with the money already established. He can just move me into a house, or I can move with him, and I'm broke, but could, that's cool because he'll take care of me. And then it might work for a little while, but I gotta tell you guys. Usually it does not over the long run. Over the long run. There are exceptions to any rule though. Gotta tell you. So hey, look. You these guys are just out of control. We just we just gave up on controlling them. But that's my opinion. And so 
like I said in my other video, you know, if you want to, uh, it's, co it's competitive, so you got to step your game up if you're specifically looking for these men. But always ask yourself in the back of your mind, does this guy think I love him? Seriously? I mean, just a mental thought. Does this guy think I love him seriously or does he see me as a gold digger? Just saying. But Nikki, you're not supposed to tell all of our deepest secrets and stuff. Guys, I'm trying to help everyone. I'm trying to help the men and women. This is this channel isn't focused only on the women and how to maneuver. And I'm I want everyone to find true love, long-lasting relationships, no matter what that looks like, whether it's marriage, whether it's a long-term relationship, whatever. I'm not gonna say, oh, you gotta get married, oh, you, your your relationship has to look like this. As long as you guys have a understanding. You know, that's really what matters. Uh, finances, you can build. And finances come and go. It's the person that you value. Like I said in my previous videos, uh, you value the human, not the pocket. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, that was shots. I, I know, I know. But Nikki, we only, we want to live like the city girls or we want to just... And, you know, and if he don't have no money and then he don't get no... Come on, guys. Is that a really a, susta a sustainable relationship uh, that you build a sustainable relationship on? Think about that. Just think about it. Now, if the guy is looking for that and totally cool with someone or vice versa, if the guy uh, doesn't make as much as you do and uh, you, you have an understanding, especially when kids are involved, like I said uh, in a previous video, that is actually a great foundation to build anything you know and maybe it's best for the kids uh you know um actually a two-parent household is always going to be best for the kids but if one of the parents can actually be home with the kids that's always a win win yeah hey my button <laughs> that's always a win-win that's always a win-win so to answer the topic or, or my final opinion on this topic is um, how important is physical attraction it depends on what that individual is looking for attraction is a point uh, important that's the initial uh, thing that's going to attract you to anyone man or woman but what attraction looks like could vary from different people uh, it's all in the like I said eye of the beholder but statistics say if you can be, and I know somebody else says this on their channel, and don't come for me, hey, don't even calm down. But if you can be friendlier, fitter, a um, little submissive, you know what I mean? Especially if he's worth it. Uh, for the long term, kind of works out uh, better. Well, that you'll get the initial attraction if you are doing all of those things, if you're actively looking for someone um, to be attracted to you, you will be doing certain things. You'll be smelling good, you'll be, you'll be uh, concerned about how you're dressing, concerned about your cleanliness, concerned about even the, the people you're with or the moves you're making. All of that is being watched by any mate that you're looking for, male or female. So just take a, you know. So attractiveness is in the eye of the beholder, but statistically, if a man is uh, can can help a woman and um, make her feel secure if that's being there for her if that's financially whatever that's statistically what women are looking for that are that are looking for long-term mates with men and then also for the for the men they are more attracted to women that care about their appearance care about um, how they look I'm sorry you're not gonna like that oh did you keep on going back to looks look I don't make the rules they just it just is what it is um, that's the initial attraction now like I said you don't have to be a certain size you don't have to be a certain weight don't come calm down because attractiveness is what that person likes in you and what that person sees in you and statistics don't have anything to do with that but the math kind of works in those favors so Thank you so much for checking out my channel, guys. This has been another Nikki's Topics. Make sure you hit the bell notifications and subscribe. And guys, if you are feeling... Now, I'm a little blingier than I was before. Can you see it? 
I'm a little blingier than I was before. So I'm going to give a special shout out. As you can see, the girl is shining. Hey, why are you laughing? Uh, calm down. I know I don't shine. Hey, chill out. Um, I want to give a special shout out to Kay and her husband from, um, what is it? Uh, Golden Diamonds Jewelers in Greenbelt, Maryland. Um, now they're not sponsoring this video, but they, I, they're my preferred jewelers. And so make sure you check them out. Ask for Kay and tell them Nikki sent you and they'll hook you up with something nice for a discount. So tell them Nikki sent you, they'll hook you up and they do financing too. So if you're, if you're not, can't bowl a lot of pocket, see what they can do for you over there. So I am, you know, we're in Maryland. So if you're in Maryland and, um, you know, uh, you're looking for something blingy. They have all different types of things. Make sure you check out Kay in Golden Diamonds Jewelers in Greenbelt, Maryland. All right, guys, that is my video for today. Make sure you check out the next one, and I love you all. Until next time, guys.